Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and in this video I'm going to show you how to record your gameplay using Nvidia Share. Now this is an option that was once known as Shadow Play but nowadays it's simply called Nvidia Share and it's an option that you have if you're running an Nvidia GTX 600 card or higher and if you meet the other system requirements that you can currently see on screen. If you do meet these requirements then you're really lucky because the share option once known as shadow play is capable of creating some really amazing gameplay videos with very little practically unnoticeable effect on frames per second so whether you're a new user or somebody who previously used shadow play and is now not very familiar with the way things are done with nvidia share stay tuned as i show you exactly how to use this amazing option so before you can actually start recording, you need to get your settings down. So first things first, you want to open up the GeForce Experience app. First off, you want to click on the gear button right here, which should open up the settings. Down here, you want to make sure that the share option is enabled. After that, you want to go to the top and click on the share button. That will open up the GeForce Experience share overlay. Another way you can open this overlay is by using the default hotkey combination which is Alt plus Z. So if you press those two keys at the same time that will bring up the exact same overlay. So as you can see first we have the instant replay option, then we have the record option and finally the broadcast option which we're not going to be concentrating on in this video but if it turns out that there is a demand for that then I can make an additional video on that in the future. So in order to set the recording options, you want to click on the record button and then click on customize. Now in particular cases, when you click on record and then click on customize, you're going to get this message that says stop recording to customize. That's because the instant replay option is on. So first off, you want to click on that and say turn off and then you can click on record, customize and everything should be fine. As for the instant replay option, we'll get to that a bit later. But first let's set the video quality options which range all the way from low to high. Now if you take a look down here, the only difference between these three presets is in the bitrate. The resolution always stays on in-game and the frame rate always stays on 60 frames per second. Now I recommend going with the high preset and keep the resolution to in-game and the frame rate at 60 frames per second and a 50 mbps bitrate should be just fine. However, if you're afraid about your system performance, you can always downscale these settings right here. So let's say you have a system that can't really generate 60 frames per second, there really is no point in staying with 60 frames per second for the frame rate. So you can simply click here and scale it down to 30 frames per second. As you can see, the moment you change anything here, it automatically becomes a custom preset. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go with the high settings and say save. So that brings us back to the main user interface. Now you may think you're already ready to start recording, but before we do that, we're going to go over some other options. First off, the microphone options. So by default, Nvidia Share will record the in-game sounds, but when it comes to your microphone, you have three options. Number one, push to talk, number two, always on, and number three, off. If you click on customize, then you have the ability to select your recording device. In my case, I only have one microphone plugged into my system, and that is my Blue Yeti microphone. So right here, I don't have any options other than that one. Beneath that, you have your volume options. And if you go to 100% here, then you have a boost option below. But I'm not going to do that. I don't like to have really loud video, so I'm going to set my microphone volume to around 70%. Once you're done, click save, and we're back to the main user interface. Same thing goes for your camera. If you have a camera plugged into your system, then you can toggle it on or off right here. I don't have a camera plugged into my system or incorporated in my monitor, so I really don't have any options right here. But finally, let's click on the gears button right here in order to open some additional settings. Now we're only going to be looking at the settings that are relevant for game recording. So first off, we're going to open overlays. 
Right here, you can set the position of three different overlays. That is the status indicator, the frames per second counter, and the viewer's overlay. So basically what you do is select one and then you decide whether you want to position it on the top left or right side or the bottom left or right side. If you don't want it at all, you can simply say off. But in my opinion, it's best to have it somewhere on screen because it lets you know whether recording is taking place or not and the best thing is that it won't even be visible in your gameplay video. Same thing goes for the frames per second counter as well as the viewer's overlay. Once you're done here, simply click back and let's check out some other settings. Another important segment are the keyboard shortcuts. Under the general shortcuts, we have Alt plus Z in order to open or close the share overlay. So if you remember, this is something I showed you earlier in this video. When you use this hotkey combination, you bring out the main GeForce Experience share user interface. Now, if you decided to go with the push to talk option in the microphone settings, then this is the hotkey combination you're going to be using when you want to talk. Now, this isn't the default one. This is something that I changed later on. But if you don't like any of these hockey combinations and you want to change them into something you prefer, simply click on it and enter the hockey combination that you prefer. For example, I'm going to change this to Alt plus T. As you can see, now it is changed. Moving on, Alt plus F12 toggles the frames per second counter and that's pretty much it when it comes to the general hotkeys. Moving on to the capture hotkeys, Alt plus F1 will save a screenshot to your gallery and finally, we reach the record hotkeys, which we're most interested in this video. First off, we have Alt plus F10, which basically saves the last five minutes recorded. And we have Alt plus F9, which you'll be using to toggle the recording on and off manually. As for the broadcast hotkeys, as we mentioned earlier, we're not going to be talking about in this video. So we'll save that for a future tutorial. So for now, we're going to click on back and we're going to move on to the recordings button, which basically allows you to set a output location for your videos. By default, they are stored in your videos folder, but if you don't like that destination, you can simply click on the three dot button, browse for a location, say done. And as you can see, the recording folder is now different. Same thing goes for the temporary files. Once you're happy with the output locations, you can click on back. Now the last thing we're going to check out on this menu is the privacy control. So when you see the word privacy, you may think that this is something that may be a little fishy, but what this basically is, is an option that allows you to record your desktop. So if this is turned off, then you won't be able to record anything except games. If you want to record stuff on your desktop, then you want this option to be turned on. So you want to say yes. This also may be useful in particular situations when you can't seem to start recording for certain games. So simply click on yes right here and then the program will record absolutely everything that is visible on your screen. So now that we're done here, let's click back, click done here and we're ready to start recording. So once you're in a game that you wish to record, you can do it in two ways. The first way is to hit the Alt plus Z hockey combination on your keyboard, then click on record and start. The other way, which in my opinion is much more convenient is to simply use the direct recording hotkey. So if you remember from the settings, that's Alt plus F9. When I hit the hotkey combination, I get a notification that says recording has started. And in the bottom right corner of my screen, I have a little notification telling me that the recording process is taking place. When I want to stop recording, I simply hit that same hotkey combination, Alt plus F9. And now I get another notification telling me that the recording has been saved. Now, while we're at it, let me just show you what the instant replay option does. If I hit Alt plus Z on my keyboard and then click on instant replay, and say turn on now let's just go back to the gameplay let me do something memorable here for example let's spin around for a bit that's something you'll be able to remember now if I say alt plus Z on my keyboard I click on instant replay and I say save that's gonna save my gameplay for up to five minutes 
prior to the moment when I clicked save. So if I go to customize, you can see right now that the replay length is set to five minutes. You can also go higher. You can go 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes max. And also you can set the quality of your video as well as the resolution, frame rate and bit rate the same way you can in the ordinary video recordings section. In order for you to see what kind of results you can expect, here's some gameplay footage I recorded using NVIDIA Share. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. Am I staying out of my shot? Hello, sir. Welcome, sir. Enjoy the show. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. So there you have it. I really do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and share the video with anyone you think might also find it interesting. For more similar content, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong. Thank you.